When I come to the US now, I feel like a tourist. I actually feel like I'm experiencing this country through someone who doesn't live here, their eyes, which is true because I am. You know, I had to give it to this train. It was really like a high-speed train in Europe, watching the sunset and getting back to my parents' quiet house in the DC suburbs, going to this little French place with my mom that is very reminiscent of Paris. It was, if it was open two years ago when I was stuck in Potomac, I totally would have gone to it. But it's, it's expensive, but it is pretty, it's, you know how much this stuff doesn't cost as much at home. This is not, this is, yeah. I felt right at home speaking French with the staff, enjoyed some nice long baths, went to the Silver Diner with my dad, a typical American cuisine tradition, you know, enjoyed baking the pies and walking around the house and eating all the vegan Trader Joe stuff. We can always start again. You know, Walks and everything in the US is so big and grandiose. I flew halfway across the world for this dinner called Thanksgiving. It's an American tradition I can't give up. But also, a lot of things in the US scare me the way that they are. The US is not my home. It's a place I come to now to see my family, some friends, run some errands, get some stuff, eat some food, and pick up and come back home. And when I was sitting in the United Lounge, thinking to what happened the last time I was sitting there seven months ago, I blossomed unknowingly. I've been waiting for this moment where I looked and I think, okay, I'm not just okay. When someone asks me, how are you? I can finally say, I am good, I'm doing great. You know what? I finally am. Staring at the map, about to come home, knowing that I built it with my raw, bare, bleeding hands, Still exasperated by sunsets in my beloved city. They say home is where the heart is. I found it.